what kind of um, stuff did you cut your teeth on? Like mobile, mobile pops, uh, things like that? No, it was it was all trials, man. Everything was like initially it was muscle, um, and then it went yeah. to diet, uh, and we were doing that stuff for a while. And then I was seeing how much these advertisers were making, uh, and I was just like, this is this is not cool. I would rather do what they're doing. Uh, so then I became an advertiser, and I owned for two years. I owned muscle and skin and diet, all three. I ran those. They were they were great. Um, I had no. I made obviously fantastic money doing it. Um, the issue that I had with it is that I depended on other people for traffic. So I wasn't running my own traffic at the time, and I was so you're so. <laughs> it's so volatile. Like yeah. you can make money one week and then they're like, Oh, we're not running traffic or, Oh, guess what? Your mids is in risk or whatever. And it's just, so it was so up and down that I was just like, I got to figure something, something out. And I got an offer to come up and work for these diesel guys, um, <laughs> running their, their marketing for them. Uh, so I'd known them for a long time. They became a little bit, they were a little bit successful, but they weren't doing any sort of marketing. No retargeting, no email, like nothing. They're just so a bunch who of are these dudes. diesel guys? Tell tell our audience who these diesel guys are. Okay, so I actually grew up the the. It's not about what you know; it's kind of.